Hey everyone, it's Crazy Dave with Crazy Dave's House of Guitar Instruction, and uh, I've been I've been chatting with friends recently about uh, seven strings. They've made some comments that they don't understand seven string guitars and the point of seven string guitars and the functionality and the playability of of having and utilizing one and things like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, I'm going to do a video series on. Uh, on seven strings a little bit more. But what I wanted to do real quick quick right now was I wanted to just show uh, three simple uh, seven string chords that you can you can use if you're a seven string player if you're just getting into it and such. So the first one is B. Uh, so what we're doing is if you use your regular your normal B bar chord based off of uh, based off of your fifth string, off of your A string. And then you take your first finger and bar it over to the sixth string as well. And then add your seventh string, your seventh string open. You real gents type of um, low end. You can do that up here with your, with your B chord as well. Use a whole bar chord and play this open. Make it B major because let's face it, if you're playing a if you're playing a low tuned um, seven string guitar, you're you know you're going to be playing B major a lot. But uh, make it minor, and you can do the same here. So you can play B major if you want to play from your uh, six string finger from your sixth string to your second string. And you can make it minor, you can use B minor. You can just use all seven strings. I use a suspended second where I take your my B minor and I lift up my second finger. So my first finger is basically marked down on all, uh, on all six strings. To C sharp. Okay, I used this in uh, in my uh, author of the song, and I got a video series. You know, I talk about that in the video series. So that's your B. That's some ways you can use you can use the six string the seven string open B. Now C. Um, what we're doing here is. Taking our first finger, putting it on the first fret of the uh, seventh string C, and then that one will easily kill out your uh, E string, your sixth string, because you want that muted. And then you just play the C bar chord like normal. Well, okay, so you just play it like normal. Basically, the fingering we normally play C bar chord like we play that B. So we're just alternating. We're altering it a little bit by using the second finger, and then our pinky bars. Well, you can use this anywhere, and it's you know it gets easier the higher up you go. But you know C and C sharp. Now, the one that I like, the real money is in this D. And I love using this, I love using this D. I use it, I mean, anytime I'm playing a seven string and I play a D chord, I'm, I'm almost always using this one because it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice fingering, it's a nice sound, a nice tone. Um, it's very easy to get to. So basically, if you've got your, if you're using your, uh, your Hal Leonard, D chord, where um, your open D, you've got your uh, second finger on the F sharp, on the second finger on the second string, or second finger on the second fret of the first string. You take that, you move that, move that middle finger over to your third fret of the seventh string, your low, which is a D, and then that'll kill. That'll mute out the sixth string. And then you just play, that's 
seventh string to the second string. You can add the suspended second of your first string if you want. You can add you know, your bar down on your first finger across from your third finger to or third string to your uh, first string. Um, but this chord, this low D, is the same uh, same voicing that you would use if you used a if you took a six string guitar and just drop D tuned it. So, you know, um, what's nice about that is that this chord transitions real well to your rock and roll G chord. Everybody likes to use this G chord, this, uh, you know, where you're. So anyhow, um, it just transitions real well. So those are those are three simple chords that you can use uh, get you started on on playing off of your off of your uh, B chord uh, your your uh, your B string. Uh, I think a lot of people, when they when they want to use seven strings, they just want to use, you know, just open chords and such. But there's a lot more you can do with it, and so I'll be talking about that in the future. But uh, anyway, I'm throwing that out there. So thanks a lot, and we'll look forward to seeing you out in uh, cyberspace uh, soon. Any comments, questions, or input, I'd appreciate that as well. And uh, thanks a lot.